What's up, Internet? My name's Ori. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. You never miss a stream. Uh, we're going to be breaking down what happened on the episode last night. And then also what happened on the live feeds. Who the new HOH is. What the plan is moving forward. And everything else uh, that went on. So we got a, we got a lot to jump into uh, today. Uh, first off, let me thank everyone who came out last night for the live watch along. It was a lot of fun seeing just kind of the chaos of what was going to happen and unfold because there were so many questions about what happened with Paloma, the live feeds being down for uh, more than uh, what almost uh, 24 hours they were down. They were down from like nine o'clock to nine o'clock almost uh all day uh once Paloma left the house we didn't get them back up until the feet until the actual episode and that's when we found out everything that happened um the episode itself it started off like your typical eviction episode there was a lot of fluff in the beginning things that was also kind of important to get out there though um things like um alliances that were built and uh, uh groups that were formed i can pull up the alliance chart here obviously this is from last week uh we'll have a, a new one uh set up and ready to go there's some changes uh, that need to be made obviously paloma uh is in a lot of these uh here but again that was why it was important to make sure you got that stuff in there in the episode because paloma did set up a lot of these alliances uh, before she was taken out of the game. Now, as, as far as why she was taken out of the game, um, they basically explained that she was having a lot of anxiety. She wasn't sleeping well. Uh, the last shot that we actually had of Paloma uh, was this in the DR. She went in there and just was really not doing well. I assume she was probably looked at by some of uh, the doctors um, and they all probably just came together with the decision that it probably wasn't best for her to stay in the game. Now, uh, we kind of discussed this in yesterday's video where we were kind of speculating and there was rumors and there was like unconfirmed reports of her not being in the house anymore. And I think one of the, the biggest takeaways I have is, look, she in the house did not act right. She, um, definitely had a, a lot of things that she should have done better. When she was in that house. That said, I hope now whatever help she needs, she's getting, uh, because uh, it is my personal life philosophy that it, you you don't just hate on somebody because they are hateful. Um, you show them compassion because that's the only way that they might actually uh, learn that that's better. <laughs> um, other than that, though, uh, uh, again, I hope she's getting the help she needs and that she's uh, doing well. Other than that, though, that then leaves us with the question, what was going to happen with the backstage? What was going to happen to Terrence and Taylor, who were on the block? Um, they revealed that Brittany was safe. She was actually saved uh, by America, but they didn't tell the house this, which also I think is very important. Um, if they would have told the house that Brittany was safe here, that might have put a target on a target on her back um, going forward into this week, which she already had a little bit of a target going on uh, into this week. So that would have only made it even more of like, oh, America loves her, too. We got to get her out. Uh, so I'm glad they didn't reveal that when it really wasn't necessary. Um Julie did then kind of explain how the competition was supposed to work. Mind you, on the feed later when the, they were discussing it, I don't think the house guests even really understood it quite well. I'm not even 100% sure if I understood it quite well. This was my interpretation of how um, she said it. They were meant to compete in a competition, right? So the house was going to not vote, but choose between Taylor and Terrence on who they wanted to go and battle in this competition uh, in order to stay. I believe Pooch was then going to pick between Alyssa and Paloma, since Brittany was safe. He was going to then have to pick between the two of them to compete. Here's where I don't know how it would have worked out, because obviously they would have competed, one would stay. Would they have told the house before the vote, right? Would they have just gone with a regular eviction vote and been like, Taylor, you're actually not evicted. You're now competing. Or would they have told the house before the vote? Because that changes a lot. 
if they didn't tell the House and it was just going to be a normal eviction vote, but then they were going to spring it on them that, no, you're competing against one of the backstage people, it's going to be Taylor. But if they had told the House, hey, you're not voting this person out of the house. You're vote. You're choosing them to compete in a competition against either Alyssa or Paloma, which Pooch will choose. I feel like there is no way the house risks putting Taylor in there and Paloma going home. Paloma had too many allies, and yes, they kind of were like, "Oh yeah, we, you know, she's a little bit of a wild card, right?" They still cared about her, right? And they they still had her in a lot of their alliances they wanted taylor gone but if they had to choose between taylor going and paloma and Alyssa staying i feel like a lot of them would have said hey let's vote terrence in it gives them the best shot of one of these girls staying but alas we'll never know how that would have worked out personally i would have loved to see actually that kind of work out but it also was a very convoluted twist that i'm just kind of glad it's done it's over with and we can move on. They did announce that there was going to be a twist next week that was going to change some things up too. And who knows what's going on with that. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see next Thursday. They said they're going to reveal uh, more about what's going on with that twist. Um, we did see after all of this um, that Taylor was safe. Terrence was safe. The backstage was over immediately. Everyone was safe. They're just going to move on like... Basically, like, Paloma lost, and she was the first uh, evictee. We then moved on to the HOH competition, which I think I would have to assume. I would have to assume that the HOH that they played, which um, is right here. Here's a picture of it. I would have to assume this was the original competition that they were going to have for the two people to face off in. I would assume they would they would battle each other here. There's a door there, and it looks like if you made it to the button, press the button, you got to go back into the house, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe this is just something they threw together earlier, but it seemed like this was something that was originally set up for them to battle. The way it turned out, though, I actually kind of liked the way this competition worked. It seemed kind of fun, kind of cool. Um, it was heats. They were they were doing duels, right? So it was uh, seven people, seven duels. Uh, seven people would move on. Uh, the first matchup, uh, we had Michael who defeated Pooch. Taylor went up against Alyssa and crushed her. Um, then we had uh, Joseph and Indy. Joseph uh, moved on uh, from that one. Amira and Brittany. Amira won that. Jasmine and Terrence, which we'll get to that one a little bit. Jasmine beat. Terrence, but there was some controversy with that one. Uh, then we had Kyle defeat Turner. Uh, Monty defeated Nicole. So your people who moved on to the second part of uh, the HOH was Michael, Taylor, Joseph, Jasmine, Kyle, and Monty. It did seem like, I do want to point out, it did seem like Monty and Nicole both were trying to throw this challenge. Uh, and then eventually Monty was like, fuck it. I just got to win it. I just got to win it. Kyle and Turner um, maybe did the best of anyone. Uh, I almost feel like Turner, if he didn't have to go up against Kyle, maybe would have beaten almost everybody else. He was really quick uh, getting across um, this little obstacle uh, and whatnot. Uh, now, I want to show you what I mean by uh, the controversy with... Jasmine. So Jasmine, during the HOH, the first part of the HOH competition, uh, she did have a fall. Let's start this over. So here you can see she's on the wall here. Uh, let me pause this. Uh, pause. So she's on the wall here, right? And they, they had to crawl along uh, this wall. Uh, now, they couldn't touch the gray or they would have to start over from the very beginning. Now, if we just kind of go along here, she does fall. Taylor had a, a save like this, but you clearly saw her foot kind of curve and never, never touch the ground. You don't see the foot touch, but what you do see is confetti move. Do you see that confetti moving at the bottom there? So it appears to me that her foot touched, and that would have meant that she would have had to go uh, back to the beginning of the round. Would Terrence have have them won over over her? I don't know. 
Uh, but here, if I let this play out, I believe there's also, yeah, some some zoom in and enhancing done here. You can see that confetti flying. Uh, and then she was able to finally uh, finish. But did she have to restart? I don't know. She did jump off here and, ooh, no, she goes down. Uh, yeah, so uh, Jasmine goes down there and uh, hurts her ankle really bad. This was maybe one of the last shots we actually saw uh, Jasmine on the episode. I think there was, like, one more of her, like, standing over with everybody else. Uh, but this kind of came out of nowhere. Apparently, she's fine. She's on crutches. It might just be a bad strain or a uh, twisted ankle or, or something like that. But uh, she apparently is fine now. Uh, so no need to worry about uh, Jasmine uh, going forward. That said, we're about to get into some uh, live feed spoilers. So if you don't want to know who won HOH and what the targets are going forward, uh, and this is your spoiler warning, uh, but let's jump into what happened on the feeds. Because like I said, you may not have to worry about Jasmine's ankle, but you will have to worry about her as HOH because Jasmine won the second half of the HOH. Kind of an incredible change, right? Think about it. She goes from this, she goes from this to the HOH. But again, now there's some controversy. Did her foot touch? They said it didn't on the show. But if you go back and watch the video, it looks like it might have. Uh, so uh, we'll see. We'll see. I think she's going to stay as HOH and they're just going to let it ride uh, and go with it. She's the HOH. It sounds like the second half of the competition was messy. Uh, there were some kind of pies involved. Uh, Taylor said they were delicious. <laughs> I think they had to, like, search through the pies. There were letters involved. Uh, it sounds like it might have been a thing. You had to search through the pies, find the letters, spell a word, and then there were, like, eliminations along the way. But because they were mixed up, it was it, there wasn't really any skill involved. It was just kind of luck on which letters you found. Um, and then people were eliminated as they went, whoever, you know, was the last one to spell the word or whatever. And uh, Jasmine was the one to come out on top. Um, now, as soon as the feeds came back, we found out it was Jasmine. And she did say to a few people that, you know, hey, Taylor thinks she's safe, but she's not. She's going right back up. Um, so that seems like Jasmine's plan originally was, yeah, let's just get out. Taylor. Quickly, things did change, though. Quickly, things did change. And Taylor's still an option, but I don't know if she is the main target uh at this point at least not for some of the people in the house um after that pooch and Alyssa had a talk and pooch has this plan so pooch said why even give taylor an opportunity at the veto put me up as a pawn put britney up as a pawn doesn't even matter one of us will win she, the only chance that uh taylor would have to play is if her name got picked and uh, worst case scenario, we send Brittany out as a backup plan. Uh, Pooch, uh, Pooch brought this up to Alyssa. He brought this up to uh, Joseph. Um, and then eventually later on brought it up to uh, Jasmine. But there was some more stuff before uh, we get the, that convo. Um, uh, he, he really wants to kind of, you know, go up there. He's very confident that he would stay. Uh, but a lot of people are already thinking, hey, maybe... You put Pooch up there, he might be a good target. Um, Taylor was was kind of um, by herself at one point. She's like, "Wow, this is unreal. I'm still here." <laughs> like I, she was in shock, uh, and she's like, "All right, now it's just time to play a quiet game, quiet game." And then this is what I love. I love this line because she's sitting there and she's like, "I would have bodied all those girls." <laughs> <laughs> she's thinking about like oh wait it would have been a competition i would have bodied all of them it's like yeah you would have taylor yeah you would have you would have crushed them in that in that competition if you had to battle your way back in you would have earned your way back in anyway um after that uh she was thinking she she definitely wants to go after monty like monty is like her number one and she's like if there's if there's a way to get a shot at monty she would try it but she doesn't think there would be one with jasmine maybe she could do something with kyle but it's not her decision so 
it is what it is. Um, but those are definitely like the people she would want to go after. Like Monty, he's the reason she's in this position. He's the reason why everybody turned against her. He's the reason why Paloma was able to spin the house uh, the way it was uh, after that lie. So she, he's the one that she wants uh, out of the house. Um, after that... Uh, there was a little talk between uh, Taylor and Daniel, and um, basically, like, Taylor was like, yeah, maybe I'll do, you know, slop so I don't have to be a pawn. <laughs> maybe I'll volunteer for that. Daniel was even like, I don't want to, but I might just volunteer for it. I think there's four people already. Um, and uh, he, it was, it, it ended up being that the have-nots actually picked. <laughs> so, uh, Monty picked Pooch, Joe picked the Cole, uh, Mike picked Terrence, and then Kyle picked Daniel. So, those are your have-nots uh, for the week. Um, now, w there was kind of a, a nice little convo. So, if we go back to our alliance chart here, um, Daniel and Nicole are in a final two together. They are the Rogue Rats. They're in a lot of alliances together. But Daniel's also in an alliance that, you know, well, uh, Nicole's not in, right? And um, it's like, okay, okay, well, you know, uh, what, 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 what do we do here? And uh, Nicole uh, kind of tells uh, Daniel everything she knows about um, the uh, uh, six-person alliance uh, that that involved uh daniel also tells nicole like oh yeah there's a guy's alliance so they're both like filling each other in on things they they probably should have filled each other in a while ago but like they you know uh, it was kind of funny to see like she's like yeah there's a there's a six person alliance and he's like oh yo there's a boys alliance so uh it was kind of cool to see them uh comparing notes they have almost all the info uh which is kind of interesting uh, so we'll see how, how that goes. There was also something kind of funny that I liked. Um, Nicole was on the couch. She was sitting next to Turner. She was kind of like whispering to him like this. And, uh, she was basically like, cause Daniel and Nicole, they're still on that. Yeah. Let's just get Taylor back out. Right. Like why, why even mess? She's like, yeah, she doesn't like I suspect the thing, blah, blah, blah. Someone said, Nicole, you all right? <laughs> she goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just get. I just got some gas. I wanted to fart on turn. <laughs> it's like they're right in the middle of the living room. It's not like they're, tr they're really trying to hide it that well. <laughs> uh, I just liked her covering up uh, game talk with with fart. Uh, so after that and after the the have not picks, um, Alyssa and Kyle had a chat about how there's a lot of girls that are easy to put up. Um Michael, Alyssa, and Amira, they didn't like the idea of uh, Brittany going up. Um, and they don't think Taylor's coming after them, right? So it's like, why why go after Taylor right now? Which is, here, that's the thing that, that kind of boggles my mind, right? Taylor has no one. She has no one in this game. She's like almost everyone's number one target. You can scoop her up. That's a number for you. Not only is that a number for you, that's a shield that you can put up in front of you. Everyone's going to put her up. Even if they're going to put you up, they're going to put her up next to you. And guess who gets voted out first? Her. Keep her. There's no reason to be targeting her. So Michael, Alyssa, and Amira, they seem like they're like, hey, yeah, I don't think, I don't think we have to worry about Taylor. And they do think if Pooch wants to volunteer and go up on the block, why not let him? And if he's there on Thursday, why not vote him out? And if he wins veto, screw it. Why not put up Turner? <laughs> so that could be somewhere they go with it. Um, Amira then went and had a conversation with Jasmine uh, up in the H late last. It was like it was like six in the morning. It was like they did not go to sleep. <laughs> They've already got like three hours of sleep last night, this, yeah, these house guests. And uh, Jasmine and Amira, they kind of went over like Pooch's idea for a plan. Uh, Pooch kind of pitched it to Jasmine as well. And Jasmine, like, she wasn't down at first. She's, uh, she's like, look, this isn't Pooch's HOH. Like, that's not happening, right? This is my HOH. She was like, the house is going to be mad at me if I put Pooch up. And I, I don't know if I want to do this. 
Amir pulled her in. She's like, nah, nah. Like, we target him, right? Like, if he's on the block, he gets voted out. And this could be a good thing. Because when are we going to get another chance like this where he is okay and says, yeah, 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 I'll go on the block. He even said, yeah, put me up there and then somebody else can win the veto and use it on Britney. Like, I don't care. I'll stay up there. So when are you going to get another chance to take a shot at Pooch like this? I don't know. This could be a really good, good opportunity for them. And it could be a great opportunity for Taylor to be like, hey, whoa, I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling over here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. It's a new game, everybody. It's a new game. There's nothing, nothing to worry about. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how everything breaks down, who Jasmine's going to kind of nail down as her targets this week. Um, right now, it looks like uh, potentially nominees could be anywhere from uh, Pooch, Taylor, Turner, Brittany, uh, <laughs> maybe Terrence again. Uh, we'll see. But I don't think um, Jasmine or the girls want to put Brittany and Terrence up necessarily. It could end up being just Taylor and Pooch right off the bat. Tell them both that they're pawns. Um, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Anyway, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. That pretty much covers uh, everything that we have the update. It was a bit of a long one, actually, uh, with the episode and everything that happened on the live feeds. Uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you made it all the way through this video, smash that like button. I know you enjoyed it. Uh, we do live watch-alongs every Thursday for the live eviction episode. We did one last night. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we also do uh, some stuff over on Twitch as well. Same name here. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Ori Streams. There should be some links down in the description below. There should be a comment I'll probably pin as well with everything. You can follow me on Twitter. Uh, great way to keep up with kind of everything uh, that's going on as well. And uh, yeah. That kind of wraps everything up. Thank you guys once again for watching, and I will see you next time.